Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about tags. This is a major enhancement in Hunchly 2, where we are able to categorize pages to help break down our investigations into particular categories for when we're doing case review or report building. So how do we actually use tags? How do we add them? And we'll talk about a little bit about how we can actually create default tags so that they show up in every single case that you use. So tags can be added from within the tags menu here. You can just click add to add a single one. Just like with selectors, you can bulk add them as well. So if you have a whole list of tags that you might want to apply, you can do them through here. And same deal, you can export them as well when we have a bunch of pages tagged to CSV. So let's add a couple of tags here. So we're still investigating me. So we're gonna say social media accounts and we'll add books. So real easy. Perfect. So we've got a couple of tags set up. Now, how do we actually go about using them? Well, let's go back to our browser. We'll click on my Twitter feed. All right, give it a chance to load. All right, the page has been saved. And now what we can do is we can go into our Chrome extension. You can see the little tags item has the badge two beside it telling us, hey, we've got two. We can click on social media because my Twitter account is a social media page. Now that page has been tagged with social media. And anytime we revisit that page, Hunchly will automatically apply that tag again so that you don't have to keep thinking about, oh, I'm back at his Twitter page a week, a week from now and you have to worry about thinking, you know, I gotta reapply this tag. Not necessary, Hunchly will take care of that in the background. And we can see that the social media tag here has got one tag page, and we can see the badge show up at the bottom. Now here's a cool thing, what you can do is you can click on a tag, it's gonna filter your history based only on that particular tag, but then we can combine it with our previous selectors and say, well only show me pages that were tagged with social media and had the jms.py selector. You could also say, and only has the Justin site selector. So you can begin to kind of slice and dice your data and how you go through it based on selectors and tags. This is really a super useful way to do case review and to kind of interrogate some of your data inside of your case. So if we wanted to tag something with books, we can go back to our Google result. We can go in and click on one of these book links. All right, we'll go to No Starch Press. I might be biased, but I think they're the best publisher out there. Cool. So now we want to tag this as a book page very easy and if we wanted to for some reason say also add the social media page that's no pro uh, no problem we can add multiple tags to a particular page not an issue at all and we can go back into our dashboard and we can see that it's shown up that we have two now for social media one for books and you can always scroll down through your history and quickly glance any of the gray badges are going to be your tag names now one of the other features that Hunchly has is it allows you to create a default tag list. So for example, maybe you work in a private investigation firm or maybe in your police department. When you do work, you always have some particular tags that you want to capture in every one of your investigations. So what you can do is actually create default tags in your settings panel. So we can say always create social media and let's always create uh, phone numbers, hit enter. So now these tags, whenever you create a new case, will automatically be created inside of that case. So every new case in the future that I create is automatically gonna have social media and phone numbers as tags. And this will save you some time when you first set up cases that you don't have to keep continually re-adding tags as you go. So this is a very brief introduction to how to use tags and how to kind of slice and dice your data using it. If you have any questions or you have any problems using tags, please send us an email, support at hunch.ly. I'll see you in the next video.